Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I'm going to be quiet because it's like 4.20am in the morning on Monday. Me. What day is it today? I don't know what the day is. The 15th maybe. Oh, November. And I am heading into peak week. So, just waiting to hear what the game plan is. But I think the training will be relatively like it was last time. Um, except I might hit glutes a little harder today. Um, I'm currently doing about 75 minutes of cardio on the Stairmaster or an incline treadmill um, with the aim of hitting a certain heartbeat per minute um, to keep my heart rate up. And then I've got steps on top of that. So I'm super tired this morning because I just haven't slept. There's been quite a few nights where I just haven't been sleeping properly. Um, waking up all the time. I think my body's just hungry and today I've probably just got a bit on my mind because it's my last day of work um, and I know that they are kind of leaning on me to get a lot done in one day which is going to be intense but we'll see. I can only do what I can do so much, eh? Hey? I say that and then I stress myself out so let's see how it goes. Um, but then I've got the rest of the week off, thank gosh, so I've got to start getting bits and get bits and pieces together, repacking, just getting myself sorted, getting really organised. Um, but yeah, I will try and keep it a little bit more updated on this vlog for this big week because I think last time I sucked a little bit. Um, I know I'm excited. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we do, if we make any changes from last time or if it's sort of the same game plan. Um, I'll keep you in the loop as soon as I know more. Alright guys, let's get some pre-workout in, let's head to the gym. Good morning guys, it is 6am so I'm going to be quiet again because Leo is just in the next room sleeping. I'm freezing, so I have my clothes on, but I have my dressing gown on the top. But I just wanted to give you a bit of an update. Um, because yesterday, so today is Tuesday and yesterday was the first day of the big week. And I checked in in the morning with you guys and she said I would find out what my programs were going to be like um, and what my week was going to look like and keep you updated. So yesterday was hectic in terms of work. I ended up working until about 8.30 in the evening just trying to get bits and pieces done because work is quite mental right now. So given that I have the rest of the week off, um, I really had to lean and support the team there. But that's fine, it's out of the way and I can kind of breathe, I think. I didn't sleep too well the night before just thinking of all I had to get through and I was so tired. Um, so last night I just crashed and it's it's just amazing the difference a good sleep can make. Um, because I'm feeling so much better than the zombie I was feeling yesterday, pre-training at least. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to keep training the way I had a specific program on my last peak week. Um, we just made sure we dialed in um, the sessions based on what I needed. So yesterday I did a bit of um, shoulders and some glutes. Today I will do my cardio this morning. I've got 75 minutes um, on the Stairmaster with some heartbeat targets. So I'm going to do that this morning. Then I've got a protein call with my protein coach Renee at about 9 a.m. here. And then I think I'll try push my training till a little bit later, which will be legs, um, rather than try and squish it all in in the morning and wake up earlier or whatnot. Just need to give my body a rest and let it wake up when it wanted to. And then tomorrow we have, I'm pretty sure it's a bit of glutes and arms. And then Thursday is just a little bit of a pump where it's glutes and back actually. Um, but I've just got cardio today and tomorrow. And then tomorrow's the last day of cardio. I need to get a blood test tomorrow morning, which I really am not interested in. I got a blood test last week because me and my coach were like, we need to figure out what's going on here. Um, and just check my other health markers and a couple of them came back quite low. Um, so I need to get some more hormones tested tomorrow morning. And then we fly out tomorrow night, which is exciting. Ow. And I just can't wait to like enjoy today and tomorrow get through the day, I gotta start packing today, like repacking my stuff, um, so that'll be good, but yeah, I'm ready to get stuck into things, 
and then we have made the decision that this is going to be my last show for the season unfortunately yeah just because my body's it needs a rest um especially after those results back from the doctors so it's a shame but i'm just gonna make sure that i have fun this time now um go out with a bang enjoy denmark um and yeah in other news can we please just appreciate this huge thing i hacked off on my face it's my own fault and i've got it covered with some makeup right now because it's actually really gross but the other day i was sitting at my laptop just aimlessly like reading emails and not thinking and like scratched a chunk of the skin off my face good job that's but anyways um we actually got some exciting bits and pieces that i've popped in an order from the protein pick and mix just to give myself some you know um some locale treats and, and snacks for when i do get into my off season um so that should be arriving today so hopefully i'll film that but yeah um excited happy tired but ready so let's get going with today i've got my oxy shred in mango affirmation cards my journal and my daily stoic book these are my morning staples cannot live without today's entry Hey guys, just checking in. So it is about 3.30 on Wednesday, the 17th of November, and we're just getting ready to head to the airport. So I'm um, gonna head to the airport probably in about 15 minutes because our flight is at 20 to eight. So I think we need to be there two hours before and it takes us quite a while to get to Stansted from here. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit anxious and nervous, which is completely opposite to what I felt last time. I feel like, it's really strange. I don't tend to get like that anxious and nervous around flying in comparison to Andrea. So my boyfriend does tend to get quite anxious and quite nervous um, or just like stressed on the day. He just has a lot of tension and I spend a lot of the time being like, chill, calm down, it's cool, no worries. And I think today we're kind of like roles reversed. Um, it's nice to have him here with me, but I feel like I was a lot more calm when I was leaving on my own. So it's just really weird how it works, isn't it? Um, but anyways, this morning I got up and got my cardio, 75 minutes of cardio done early, did my training session, just a little one. Then I had to get some more blood work done, um, which actually really hurt because she was saying that she missed the first time she put the needle in, which I was like, oh yeah, felt that. Um, but anyway, then I spent the day pretty much packing. It kind of feels weird. Like I'm trying to have that feeling again of like feeling like I'm forgetting something, but at the same time, I've got a lot of stuff, but trying to be mindful of the weight that I'm carrying. But at the same time, I know it's going to be colder in Copenhagen than it was in Spain. It's going to be like eight degrees. So that means layers. Um, but anyways, we will see how we go. Um, fingers crossed. We are not overweight on the way there at least. Um, but I've tried to pack really heavy things in my carry-on, so like my hairdryer, straightener, appliances, and then also, um, obviously my shadow bikini and shoes, but then anything else that was heavy, I just tried to pop in there. Um, but we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, so we arrive quite late in Copenhagen. We arrive at about, I think it's like just before 11 o'clock in the evening, um, so we'll just get a taxi to our accommodation, which I've already arranged to have food delivered, like a delivery of groceries um, delivered today. So we can just pick it up when we go, uh, when we arrive, sorry, including a ton of bottled water because I am not going anywhere near bottled water at all, uh, tap water at all. Um, but that'll be nice to have at least, um, I can just cook up some rice when I get there or in the morning. I've got some chicken and all that so that I can just sort of get straight stuck into things in the morning and not worry too much about dilly dallying around. Um, yeah, that's kind of it from me. I'm pretty much, I will have finished most of my meals before I even head to the airport, which is nice because it means a little less containers. Um, but I'll just have one meal to finish um, either at the airport or on the flight. And yeah, I think I was up quite early today and I'm going to be um, awake quite late tonight for me. So I'm sure I'll crash at the other end. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling quite tired right now. Maybe that's also why I'm not feeling 
100% today. Um, a couple of different variables, but that's fine. Um, yeah, it's been a beautiful day here in London. Lots of sunshine. Um, I feel like I'm wearing the same thing that I wore the last time I flew out. I feel like it's my uniform um, when I'm going to comp because it's brown, chocolate brown. So if I get any tan on it at any point, if I wear it over the weekend, it doesn't matter. Um, but you don't want to be comfy on a flight anyway. So we're all about the comfies. We're wearing a sweatsuit. Um, and yeah, I'll bring my laptop with me. I'll either try and do some work at the airport or on the flight, or I'll just chill out and watch a movie. Um, got my little hard drive that's got Sex in the City on it, so that's really good. And just chill and just really sort of de-stress, relax, and know that, you know, I've got my bikini, got my heels, got my jewelry, got my phone, got my passport, cards, let the rest take place as it does. Um, and it's really just about enjoying it. I know that I'm really tired, so it's just about enjoying the rest of this week, the next five days, um, and whatever's to come after that. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing tomorrow might mean a carb up since we have been on Lolo all week. Um, at least last peak week, we did carb up on the Wednesday and I flew out on the Thursday. So we had one day where I was like energized and happy. Um, but as for tomorrow, I think that would just I think that will hopefully, depending on how I wake up in the morning, um, that will be carb up, if not Friday, Saturday. Um, and yeah, so it's a Sunday show. But that's it from me. No more waffling. Gonna head to the airport soon. Um, and I'll keep you updated. Go to gate 45. Almost time for to make it to the airport. It's actually quite busy around here. I've been taking a lot of the shops and that are closed, which is crazy. Hello! Getting ready to go! We're from the back. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday here, and we are in Copenhagen. Um, I'm just leaving the apartment to the hotel now. Um, it is beautiful here. Wow, we struck gold. I have to take you on a bit of a tour, but I mean, look at this hallway. It's just the cutest little like boutique. Like we're in a little loft. It's perfect. But anyway, I'm in search of a gym. I found one that's like five minutes down the road. So I'm going to go to the gym, get a cute little pump session in, get a cute, get a little pump session in and hopefully do some posing. I've been chatting to both my coaches about some feedback I got from my last show, which is really good. Um, so we'll see what we can do between now and then. But really just to have some fun with the posing and we'll feel comfortable. And then come back and Andre and I can explore Copenhagen for the afternoon. So let's get on with the day, but I'm going to take you around with me because this place is cool. I'm really liking it here. Headed to the gym this morning. <clears throat> it's actually quite cool outside. I don't think I packed enough warm stuff, but we will see. That beautiful sky. guys I'm just doing a warm-up on the treadmill and this gym is bomb so I was originally gonna go to a gym that was like well across town because it was closer to my first accommodation because long story short I booked accommodation for Denmark back in like April I'm not even gonna lie it was actually probably back around April May my first shows because I was like no I want to do it um, and I knew that it would be like booked out but um, just last week, I was trying to email the property because it was all confirmed, it was all fine. Um, I was trying to email the property, which was super close to the venue, um, where it's going to be on Sunday, and then it was super close to like supermarket and a gym, um, and then I emailed them, and it turns out that I didn't hear back from them, and then I tried to call them, and then it said the call listing um, number on booking.com. 
said it was invalid. So I had to reach out to booking and they had to like raise a, a ticket and a case for me. Um, and it actually turned out that that place they had to cancel because they couldn't get in touch with the listers. So I'm glad I found that last week and not this week because it would have been stressful. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, there was a gym that was really cool that was on that side of town. Um, but this morning I decided to just like do a quick Google of what's around here and there's a gym five minutes down the road from my uh, apartment hotel and it's amazing. It's so beautiful. I just, I mean, all oh, I mean, Copenhagen is beautiful. Um, but I'll do a bit of a tour. I'll show you around a little bit here and there. And there's beautiful windows, all this like, nice light coming in. Um, and the guy was really helpful. He's going to open up the studio so we can do some posters, which is nice. I'm obsessed. Wow. Okay. This is like a little heaven. I'm guessing the licorice is like there. Can we just have a look? Yeah. Okay. So I'm on the hunt for Laura Mercier and a makeup stand. Wow, look at this. Good morning guys, it is Friday and it's the 19th of November and I am just on my way back to the gym. I'm gonna go and do some posing because I found um, the guys were super helpful yesterday. They gave me access to the studio, which was really, really nice. Um, it gave me a little bit more room to sort of have a bit of a run up um, and do like my eye walk and everything. So that was really cool. And I might see if I maybe do a little bit of a pump session. Um, I can't help myself, but I don't think it will be detrimental. So Troy didn't say I can't. But he also didn't say, yeah, go for it. Um, so we'll see how we go. But I'm going to head there now, um, film a little bit, and then come back and do some other bits.
guys so it is now almost a week post show and i had the best experience i had the absolute best time in copenhagen the denmark amateur olympia was incredible it was a huge show it was a great experience it just showcased the caliber of incredible athletes here in europe um and it really really just it was so good. Um, Copenhagen is such a beautiful city, so if you've never been, pop it on your list. Uh, we spent mm, about two days exploring, so one day before, so the Thursday before the show and the Monday afterwards, and we got really lucky on the Monday afterwards in that it was really nice and sunny. It was really cold, but it was beautiful, so we just walked everywhere, um, saw all you know, the different streets and the different parks and walk through um, the city a little bit. And then we found the most amazing cinnamon rolls. I had Googled because I'm a massive cinnamon fan and I Googled where the best place was to find cinnamon rolls in Copenhagen. Um, and so we went to the first place on the list. It was like St. Peter's uh, Bakery. And I'll pop some clips in because I did take, I'm sure you've either already seen them, I'll pop them in. So. Cinnamon buns from a really good place to have. But you can see them now. Um, they were fresh. Well, we did go to the the bakery and they didn't have any and they said maybe 15 minutes but maybe not so we did go for a bit of a walk and then we came back and they were fresh out of the oven melting in your mouth wow could not believe how amazing they were oh we almost got a second round of them but we stopped and and just took a beat because we didn't need them but wow they were amazing um I did take some clips of our day out on Monday, so I'm sure that they either will be before or after this clip, probably before this clip, so I'm repeating myself, but it was a great day. Um, and the show all in all, um, in terms of placings, I placed, I did not place in Novice. Um, in Novice, we went on about four hours late, um, so we went on stage at about eight o'clock, and it was a class full of 40 amazing girls. Um, so that was a really great experience to be among such a big group of people of athletes on stage um unfortunately we didn't get to do eye walks at all because it was just too packed of a show and running too late and there was too many competitors um so in the group of 40 with the novice um they brought us out in rows of eight we would come out do a comparison um and then file off to the sides and then come out and do just an individual presentation um from the side so you pretty much came out from the diagonal came into the um, center box did your presentation and then walked back off and then they would keep all of us on stage until everyone had gone through theirs um and they did call outs and i got third call outs for that and then for my open class i actually placed fourth which at the end of the day i mean i do we all all of us competitors we compete to win um 
I knew that this season I was not bringing a package that I was truly, truly happy with in terms of I knew we could do better. Um, but no excuses. It is what it is. Um, I got fourth and look, I improved my placing from Spain. So from going from fifth to fourth, can't complain at all. And especially amongst the caliber of athletes that were there. Honestly, I'm telling you, these athletes are amazing. They're so inspiring so much muscle definition conditioning all the things that i can't wait to work on um it really just fueled my fire and you know placing fourth amongst them is pff, i cannot you know i really can't be that disappointed there um but of course i always want to do better and bring better um but no it was fantastic met some beautiful girls got to finally meet people in person that i hadn't met before I wanted to catch up with even one of my um one of the girls that I watch her YouTube Clara big shout out to you um finally got to meet her that was really lovely um and even a fellow teammate um Ronya from Team Destroy so that was fun and yeah just had a really great experience was able and lucky enough to sit with a bunch of the girls from the UK um in the bleachers whilst we waited to go on stage so that was nice um and yeah I just had a great great experience got home super late um but that was okay i was just hanging for a bowl of oats and some chicken and rice and extra peanut butter so i got that in and then i got to bed um but no honestly i had the best experience ever it was the best experience to close out my season and that's exactly what that show was closed out the season um learned so much from it took so much away and now it's about going back to the drawing board getting my ducks in order, sorting out my health, getting the tests that I need to get done, boxing that off, reversing like a boss, and then getting stuck into growth season. And honestly, I'm feeling great. Like calories are going up, we're reversing. Um, I'm taking a really easy approach like I did last time post-show. Um, for my first season, I'm sticking to my meal plan as usual for most of the day. If I feel like something else, I'll add it in. If I'll switch something out um, for a substitute, I can go for that. I'm adding in a bit more flexibility um, and just like letting my body sort of settle, not going crazy, knowing that, you know, hunger cues aren't in order, but at the same time, letting myself eat if I want something. Um, so yeah, I'm lucky that on the whole, I really do enjoy my meal plan and my food. So it's not like I'm going and binging or anything um, or having that feeling that I need to binge, but yeah, I didn't feel heavily restricted, so it is what it is. Um, that's really good. And yeah, so now it's all about going into off-season, um, which I'm really, really excited for. Um, to be honest, I don't think I'll be back on stage until 2023 because I know how much I need to develop. Um, I'm quite small when it comes to muscle size, um, so I need to be building, 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 um, building a lot more to add to my frame and that takes time as a natural competitor so I'm excited for that and I'm excited to document that journey so I think what I'm going to try and do is document some of my reverse um and then just document my off season and keep sort of um keep you guys up to date with where I'm at and how I'm finding it and how it's going um and then bring to you some more fun and exciting content um you know different challenges different days out different vlogs maybe even some like calorie challenges or like eating like a certain type of athlete for a day i think they're really fun and really cool so let me know what you want to see pop it in the comments below or drop me a dm on instagram um and we can have a chat about what that might look like because it could be really fun um but thank you guys for watching this vlog for show day number two for the second half of this season um i hope you enjoyed it and now we're on to the next so if you did like it hit like subscribe and hit me in the comments all right thanks guys sending you lots of love bye